good morning students in the previous class we saw about zigzag the first part i hope you will remember the characters who are the characters he is dr ashok t krishnan his wife his son aravind okay and his uh, daughter uh, maya and his friend somo and so the story continues now aravind is asking may i take zigzag to school papa aravind has always was planning ahead i want to display him in the science exhibition now arvind says he wanted to take zigzag zigzag is the bird isn't it and so he says that he wanted to take zigzag to the science exhibition when is zigzag coming papa maya was jumping and down all excited okay now maya is asking when is uh, somu uncle sending zigzag and she was also very excited to see zigzag uncle somu said he would send zigzag with his old cook visu there's a new character here he is visu okay the old cook okay and so he says today he will be sending it i have to leave for my clinic now there he added as the door bell rang that's probably them okay and now when he was uh, conveying this message that uncle somo would send it with his old cook visu itself they could hear the door bell ringing and there it was visu Indeed, it was. Come in, zigzag. Come in, dear. Coast visu and in tottered the strangest, weirdest looking bird in the Krishnan family had ever seen. What do you mean by that? Tottered. The strangest means walked unsteadily. Okay, and weirdest means unearthly. Okay, you could have not seen that bird. That is the meaning of weirdest. About a foot and half tall. Now they are explaining its structure. its bald head was fringed with a crown of shocking pink feathers while the rest of its plumage was in various shades of the muddiest largest brown what is the height of it it is only foot and half tall and how was its head its head was bald there was no hair there okay and fringed means bordered with a crown of shocking pink feathers what color feathers pink while the rest of its plumage plumage means feather collection was in various shades of the muddiest largest brown that means different kinds of brown that is mud color its curved beak was sunflower yellow i hope you know sunflower yellow and its eyes were the color of cola held to sunlight okay this is zigzag announced with with a flourish his full name is ziggy zaga king of the tonga okay his exact short form isn't it and so it is ziggy zaga king of the tonga how i am going to miss him so beautifully he talks he can even recite french poetry now this uh, old cook isn't it he is uh, describing as exact that he is able to talk beautifully and he can even recite french poetry the object of all this praise was standing cool and unmoved with an expression of almost human grumpiness and his cola colored eyes i was exact he never bothered about anything He was just standing like that. Okay, he did not worry about anything. Arvind, finding that Zigzag was sulkily refusing to say a word, despite all their efforts at striking a conversation, dashed into the kitchen to return with a plate heaped hurriedly with juicy fruit slices and some fruits. Now, what did this Arvind do? He went into the kitchen and he brought some juicy fruits and nuts. broad eyed brighten momentarily at zigzag picked up a walnut do you know what is walnut i hope you would have seen a walnut and so what did the zigzag do he picked up a walnut but refusing to speak he dropped one wrinkled eyelid in a solemn wink and flew clumsily to deposit the nut on the enormous chandelier hanging from the ceiling what is this chandelier it is a bunch of lights where we hang it on the ceiling bit by bit and in total silence all the fruit on the plate was transferred to the chandelier and to the blades of the ceiling fan now switched off okay what did the zigzag do he took away all the fruits and nuts that was in the plate he took it one by one and he kept it on the wings of the fan and the chandelier okay now the fan was switched off then perching comfortably on a curtain rod now perching means he sat comfortably on a curtain curtain means you know screen isn't it on that rod zigzag dropped one wise and eyelid in another solemn wink as he sank his beak into a plump goa what did he do now he put his beak into a goa and he started eating it don't worry children was so comforted as he left noticing how disappointed they looked when zigzag stubbornly refused to say a single word to them 
even though they tried speaking to him in english hindi tamil and french they tried to speak in many languages okay english hindi tamil and french but zigzag didn't open its mouth at all to speak and so this is comforting them don't worry children just wait till zigzag settles down in his new home then you have a great time listening to him he says you have to give him time to settle okay and so then he would be speaking to you even when we move to a new place we take some time to settle isn't it we just like that we don't start speaking to others as it happened the children didn't have to wait for more than 10 minutes to have a great time listening to zigzag for as soon as we so left zigzag still perched on the curtain rod went off to sleep now what did he do it ate all the it it ate some fruits okay and nuts and what happened zigzag started to sleep and the moment he fell asleep he began to snore you know what is snoring we make a noise when we sleep isn't it you won't be aware but the person sleeping next to you will hear that sound and it's a bit disturbing snore and what a snore it was okay nirvis it began as a soft grumbly sort of rumble much like the stomach while the stomach of a mildly hungry dinosaur might have made when you are hungry your stomach could make some noise isn't it like that the sound of it was like a hungry dinosaur then it grew louder and louder and louder until it sounded as if a herds of elephant with cold was trumpeting angrily in the room kinder ways then how did it develop it developed as though it was a herd of elephants means a group of elephants okay and so what were they doing they were all sneezing with cold zigzag snore pondered their ear drums till their heads ached okay their family members had started aching in when did they try to wake the snoring bird 21 languages he supposed to know snort at mrs krishnan what did mrs krishnan now she is making fun 21 languages he knew see now what he is not able to do nothing he is only snoring see what what is she telling here it this bird chooses to communicate only in snorri 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 and snorrily and snorralu she is making fun i thought it was a scientific bird that um, scientific fact that birds could not soar said maya trying to squirt water from a small water pistol at zigzag to wake him and wetting most of the curtains the walls and the sofa instead now what is uh, maya doing here she is bringing a water pistol okay and she is trying to put it uh, over zigzag okay so that he would be awake and instead of that what happened the bird did not wake up only the sofas the curtains and the walls were all wet african witch doctors bird don't obey scientific rules now arvind is telling okay it is a uh, the bird which is in present which has been presented by an african doctor and so he says the witch doctors birds would not obey scientific rules arvind was annoyed that his best imitations of a raging lion a hungry hyena and a ferocious dog had failed to draw zigzag out of his deep slumber he says whatever comes here okay it may be a hungry hyena or a ferocious dog whatever it is you cannot wake up zigzag now he tried his loudest most frightening coyote call okay what is that coyote it is a wolf like animal okay and so now he is trying to call like that but zigzag slept on undisturbed and snored on there was no reaction there zigzag was just going on sleeping and snoring in total despair at their failure to wake zigzag or at least stop him snoring they shut themselves in the bedroom that was farthest away from mrs krishnan's studio where zigzag was creating the terrible din now what happened all these family members had a headache isn't it and so they went to a bedroom okay which was farthest away from mrs krishnan's studio means what it's a place where she sits and draws not the studio where we take photos Mrs Krishnan was just unraveling a roll of cotton to stuff in her ears okay what was she doing she was taking a piece of uh, cotton okay to put it into her ears in the hey their mere lakshmi shrieking as if she had been electrocuted that means what she is uh, being attacked by electric shock they had a maid by name lakshmi what did she do you, you know heart hammering they rushed to the studio to find lakshmi dancing and clapping her hands excitedly as she yelled we have been blessed we have been truly blessed it's raining papayas and bananas in this room actually the bird zigzag was in the studio 
okay in that uh, fan and the chandelier only what did he do he put up all the nuts and the fruits there and so this lakshmi entered in and she switched on the fan and so what happened all the fruits and the nuts that was on the chandelier and fan fell down and it all fell on the picture now listen to the story it will be interesting they froze in horror okay now they are all tensed lakshmi had apparently switched on the fan on which zigzag had left some fruits and nuts half packed fruits streamed off the fan what is it half packed on it as neat in the half the other half had come out and it has fallen down dampening even lakshmi's enthusiasm as a goa landed on her cheek with a soft squish and one walnut hit her forehead with a loud smack what happened now one part of the goa okay came down from the fan and it uh, what is it stuck on lakshmi's cheek and one walnut walnut would be heavy uh, the name itself tells us walnut isn't it and so what happened it hit her forehead with a loud smack made sound one slice of over ripe papaya came whizzing off the fan as they watched it helplessly it oh horror splattered all over mrs krishnan's unfinished masterpiece sunset at marina what happened now one piece of papaya okay it is over ripe means uh, it is uh, it be good to eat okay and soft and so that uh, splashed where did it splash what is that unfinished masterpiece it is the drawing that was done by mrs krishnan to be put up at the exhibition okay what is the topic sunset at marina spreading streaks of goy orange pulp and shiny black seeds all over it what happened would have seen the seeds in the papaya isn't it or not and so everywhere it spilt okay in the picture mrs krishnan's groaned tragically and looked ready to shoot it said now she was terribly angry okay what happened she was in pain and disappointment that is groaned okay because she has done a wonderful painting and she has to exhibit her uh, um, uh, picture but now what happened uh, everything is spoiled but he was saved by the bell the telephone bell otherwise you should have shot okay zigzag they answered one call after another as all the neighbors rang up to demand what the awful kinderwee sound was and if they could please have some peace now what happened the neighbors who were all uh, near around uh, dr krishnan's house they all started calling okay over phone one after the other because they were all disturbed of that zigzag snoring and through all this commotion zigzag slept on unconcerned and snored on zigzag never felt about anything okay he continued to sleep and he was going on snoring finally an exhausted mrs krishnan rang up her husband i'm going crazy with the sound of zigzag snoring plus all these angry telephone calls and my beautiful painting here her voice cracked you know mrs jununwala the art critic who lives upstairs well she heard zigzag snoring and had the cheek to telephone and asked me whether i could sing a little softly when i took my singing lessons please contact somu and find out what we should do she is very much irritated and so she is calling her husband and telling see i am getting all the phone calls from our neighbors each one is calling me and asking what is this zigzag snoring okay and you know this art critic jununwala who stays up on our house isn't it she is also calling me and telling me whether if i could sing slowly and so she is asking now please contact somu and ask him what we had to do dr krishnan came home as fast as he could but after he had left an email message from somu asking him for clear instructions on how to stop zigzag from snoring now what did krishnan do he sent an email to somu asking him how he could stop the zigzag snoring don't worry he reassured his downcast family okay they are all upset isn't it and so he is telling his family members don't worry somu will reply soon and will discuss there is some ridiculously simple way to stop zigzag from snoring he says yes we'll find a way to find uh, stop the zigzag from snoring six days passed six frantic days of checking their email day and night 
six torturous day of having the deafeningly loud kind of wheeze resound in their home most now rackingly maya complained that she heard a permanent rumbling sound in her ears even when she was miles away from her home that her ears ached all the time now maya is telling always i am able to have some pain and sound in my ears even though i am some miles away from our house also arvin confessed that for the first time in his life he was actually looking forward to go to school considering it was as calm as a monastery compared to their house now arvin said no i will not miss my school i'll regularly go to school okay i feel that uh, school is a calm place where i can stay monastery means place where all the monks or the priests live krishnan has lost interest in painting his who dr krishnan's wife Zigzag would sometimes wake up briefly when he wanted to eat some fruit, and sometimes he would sit on the veranda, looking sulkily and bored as he stared at the sunset at Marina Beach. The real view, not the painting lying forlorn in one corner. What did he do? He always used to eat something. Okay, when he was bored, he used to uh, look at. Okay, not even looking, staring at the sunset at Marina Beach. Okay, they were staying somewhere close to the Marina Beach, and so he was uh, really looking at the beach, not the painting lying forlorn in one corner. It was not talking about uh, the picture Marina Beach, ruined by streaks of hardening papaya. It is all destroyed, isn't it? Everywhere that papaya is stuck here and there. Zigzag never spoke to anyone, though everyone tried several times and in several languages to speak to him kindly. He only slept and no, though they tried to speak to him, okay, what did he do? He only slept and snored on the seventh day, okay. Now it is nearly a week that Zigzag had come to their place. Doctor Somo's email arrived. It was Doctor Krishnan predicted ridiculously simple. It read, okay. Now Somo is sending a mail. What has he said there? I have never heard Zigzag snore. In fact, Zigzag hardly ever sleeps. Love so more. And he is also telling, if you are finding it difficult, ask my cook visit to keep Zigzag. Okay. Now he is sending a email that he has not heard Zigzag snore, and he says Zigzag hardly ever sleeps. That means very rarely it sleeps. and he also says if they are finding it difficult to send it along with so and so that it does said mrs krishnan find with so i will not keep zigzag here another minute and so mrs krishnan said no 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 i cannot keep the zigzag with me and so you please find out that cook vizu let him send call down dear i am leaving for my clinic now can't it wait till Okay, he said. Now I have to leave for my clinic. Okay, you just wait. We'll do something. No, it's now. Mrs. Krishnan was adamant. She was very adamant. She said, No, no, no. Right now, it has to move out of the house. I've invited some friends and our experts to come home and choose my paintings for the exhibition. This feathered snoring monster will drive us all mad. She is telling. No, I've invited some of my friends to come and choose the picture or the paintings for my exhibition. And so this bird will. drive us all mad will make us all mad come on then zigzag call dr krishna nervously wondering how he could locate so musko listen and so now this dr krishna is calling on zigzag zigzag you come on here er uh, why don't you wait in the car zigzag he suggested when they reached his clinic his heart sinking at the thoughts of zigzags your shatteringly loud no adding to the din of the sobs and shrieks produced by the tiny parents patients waiting for him now he is thinking this bird already used to uh, snore and sleep now actually he is a child specialist isn't it and so when he takes this bird to the clinic what will happen he will also be um, uh, snoring isn't it that loud noise will disturb others and so he is thinking what will i do there but zigzag king of the tonga was not accustomed to be keeping quiet and was already making his way to the clinic where he perched himself on the nurse reception table what did he do he just went okay and he sat on the nurse table don't you dare sleep dr krishnan warned as exact fiercely as he went towards his room now mr krishnan is warning we should not sleep he had hardly walked through the swinging half door that separated his clinic from the waiting room 
when he heard a strange voice say you there in the blue t-shirt don't jump on the sofa now what it is exact do in the picture you can see okay dr krishnan's uh, clinic okay in his room there was a door there okay and it was split into two and so it sat on that door okay and it is telling you there in the blue t-shirt don't jump on the sofa you in the red dress don't swing on the curtain it was zigzag's voice clear and commanding there was pin drop silence in the room as everyone waited open mouth for zigzag's next sentence okay there was complete silence there but we had all already seen that it was like a chinese torture chamber but now there was pin drop silence dr krishnan was amazed gone was zigzag's bored and grumpy expression instead the bird looked happy and alert as it went about the job it had been trained for first with the african witch doctor and then with somo okay he was trained to take care of the patients there okay first it was also with this african doctor isn't it then with doctor somo doctor krishnan's cleaning usually a noisy sea of tears and tantrums was transformed into a calm orderly place as zigzag efficiently soothed the frightening patients scolded the naughty ones and made the crying ones smile he is putting everything in order okay there is pen drop silence and if his yam digging song and recitation of french poetry reduced the children to helpless laughter instead of tears he didn't look as though he minded now what was he doing he was reciting okay poetry and singing some songs okay and these children those who were crying were all laughing now but this zigzag did not worry about it and best of all zigzag never slept or snored even for a second already he was sleeping and snoring all these six days but today when he came to the clinic there was pen drop silent he never slept he never snored never had a morning pass so quietly and peacefully for dr krishnan when the last patient had left he called zigzag to his room zigzag flew in and sat on the table scratching the bird under its beak dr krishnan sighed and said somu was right after all you are an absolute treasure i never realized what he meant when he called you a great help now all the patients had moved okay and so dr krishnan called zigzag to his room and zigzag flew inside and scratching the bird under its beak you know what is the beak isn't it and so he is soothing the bird and he is telling yes somu was right he said you are an absolute treasure i never realized what kind of help you could do to me why didn't you tell me you would prefer to be at my clinic instead of snoring like that to show you were bored what do we do now no one wants you back at home now they want me to leave you with visu just then the telephone rang it was mrs krishnan sounding very pleased with herself you know mrs junanwala the art critic she chuckled she doesn't want me to exhibit sunset at marina she bought it for herself for rupees 5000 now she was very happy okay she called her husband through the telephone and she's telling you know mrs junanwala isn't it yes she said that she will take my picture that sunset at marina for rupees 5000 isn't that picture the papaya fell on now her husband is asking isn't that painting where the papaya fell yes mrs krishnan was laughing heartily now i had left it in one corner and she chose to buy it saying she loved my new technique of painting she was very happy she said she came and i left this picture in one corner only but she wanted only this she said this is a new technique of my painting and she loved it she simply adored those or a streaky orangey bits she launched into fresh gales of laughter by the way she said when she saw bow down i don't think we were fair to zigzag now she was very happy that the picture was bought by this junun wala then she sobered means for she started crying and she's telling no 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 i don't think we were all fair to zigzag shall we keep him on with us at home just on travel for another week she's asking shall we keep one more uh, uh, week uh, zigzag with us sure agreed a delighted dr krishnan before he cleverly added 
and I could always take him to the clinic every morning so that you can paint in peace at home. Now Dr. Krishnan is telling, you don't take that burden. Sure, we will have him, but I will take him to my clinic so that you can paint peacefully at home. My boy, he confided to Zigzag after matters were satisfactorily settled, giving the bird a toffee from his desk. Now what did he do? This uh, doctor gave him a toffee from his desk. You have your own strange way of showing your genius. A zigzag way, I'd call it, wouldn't you? And so now he is telling, really you have approved or you have showed that you are a genius. But Ziggy Zaga, king of the Tonga, brought upon compliments as he was. Didn't bother to reply. Okay, he was uh, going on getting compliments, but he never replied. He just ate the toffee, paper wrapper and all. And then lowered one crinkly eyelid in a knowing Wing. He just closed, okay, one wink, eyelid in an knowing wink. That is all about this story. It is really an interesting story. First they hesitated to have zigzag, but now they have all made up of mind to have zigzag with them at, okay. This is the end of the lesson and your assignment will be given. Kindly do the assignment. Thank you.